Living things such as ourselves depend on nitrogen. Nitrogen is a component of the nitrogenous bases of DNA and RNA, and nitrogen is a component of amino acids. Each amino group has a nitrogen atom, and other amino acids have additional amino groups. Although nitrogen gas makes up 79% of the air we breathe, nitrogen molecules are composed of two nitrogen atoms bound by triple covalent bonds. And most organisms, including ourselves, lack the ability to break this triple covalent bond and therefore to use this nitrogen, which is so abundant. In fact, only bacteria can do this and perform what is known as nitrogen fixation, where they convert the nitrogen in the atmospheric air into ammonia, where it can now be used by living things. Only certain bacteria possess the nitrogenase enzyme, which can perform nitrogen fixation, such as Azotobacter, Bacillus, Clostridium, Klebsiella, and Rhodosporillum, or the cyanobacteria, Anabina, and Nostoc, which may have to protect the areas where nitrogen fixation occurs by making protective heterocysts. Some of the bacteria which perform nitrogen fixation can live in symbiosis with other organisms and thus provide nitrogen for them. So rhizobium can live in the root nodules of clover, soybean, and alfalfa. Frankia can live in the root nodules of alder trees. Spirillum can live in the roots of tropical grasses. Anabina can live in the roots of tropical aquatic ferns, and Nostoc is associated with a tropical herb. Before nitrogen can be taken up by most living things, ammonia must be converted to nitrates through a process known as nitrification. So a number of bacteria can convert ammonia to nitrites, NO2 minus uh, ions such as nitrosomonas, nitrosococcus, nitrospina, and nitrosolobus, and then other bacteria can convert nitrites into NO3- nitrates, such as nitrobacter, nitrospina, and nitrococcus. These bacteria tend to live in soil, water, and can be found in sewage. Nitrates can be taken up by plants and incorporated into the biomolecules of the plants, and animals, when they eat the plants, can then incorporate nitrogen into their biomolecules. When plants and animals die, the nitrogen from the dead material can be converted to ammonia and then reprocessed to make nitrates again, or it can undergo denitrification through bacteria such as Pseudomonas, Thiobacillus, and Bacillus, where it is returned to nitrogen gas in the air. And so thus there is a nitrogen cycle in which nitrogen from the air is incorporated into biomolecules. It can travel through food chains and then it can be recycled after death and remain in biomolecules or returned to the air. Microbes are essential for this because no eukaryotic cell can perform nitrogen fixation.